I'm Lindsay Bruce, and as part of C21's Poetry Project, I'm happy to present the poem Phase One by Dilruba Ahmed. Dilruba Ahmed is an American poet and professor born in Ohio and raised by Bengali parents. Much of her work centers around the experience of growing up in an immigrant family in America. She wrote this poem in 2018, struggling to cope with her feelings around the US-Mexico immigration border crisis. She wrote, I was fumbling for a way forward in a country so bitterly divided across political lines. The idea of turning inward first as some kind of initial step felt both genuine and viable to me. The notion that the understanding or forgiveness that we might hope to extend to others must begin within began to resonate with me. Here is phase one. For leaving the fridge open last night, I forgive you. For conjuring white curtains instead of living your life. For the seedlings that wilt now in tiny pots, I forgive you. For saying no first, but yes as an afterthought. I forgive you for hideous visions after childbirth brought on by loss of sleep. And when the baby woke repeatedly for your silent rebuke in the dark, what's your beef? I forgive you for letting vines overtake the garden, for fearing your own propensity to love, for losing again your bag en route to San Francisco, and for the equally heedless drive back on the caffeine-fueled return. I forgive you for leaving windows open in rain and soaking the library books again, for putting forth only revisions of yourself with punctuation worked over instead of the disordered truth. I forgive you for singing mostly when the shower drowns out your voice, for so admiring the drummer you fail to hear the drum. In forgotten tin cans may forgiveness gather, pooling in gutters, gushing from pipes, a great steady rain of olives from branches, relieved of cruelty and petty meanness. With it, a flurry of wings, 13 gray pigeons, ointment reserved for healers and prophets. I forgive you. I forgive you for feeling awkward and nervous without reason for bearing Keats' empty vessel with such calm, you worried perhaps you had no moral center at all, for treating your mother with contempt when she deserved compassion. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you for growing a capacity to love that is great but matched only, perhaps, by your loneliness. For being unable to forgive yourself first, so you may then forgive others, and at last find a way to become the love you want in this world. 